The iGames Legends Pinball, or ALP, is a great machine out of the box. It includes 22 built-in Gottlieb tables with the ability to add many more Sicaria and Tato tables without ever having to mod the machine. So why even bother modding? Well, AdGames has made the ALP an open and connected platform in a number of ways. For example, if you like playing vertical arcade games, you can add an arcade control panel very easily which provides a joystick, a trackball, and six action buttons. Then, using CoinOps X, you can play a number of great arcade games on the 32-inch playfield on the ALP. Then again, you may prefer to play all of those great pinball tables from Zen Studios on a pinball cabinet. Well, by adding a PC and the Vibs board to your pinball machine, you can then play those pinball tables on the Legends pinball machine also. Using the same setup, you can also install thousands of community-developed Visual Pinball X or VPX tables and future pinball tables using Pinup Popper Baller Installer. Getting all of this set up and working isn't hard, but wouldn't it be easier with a step-by-step -step guide that breaks everything down easily? That's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. If you go to wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash ALP dash mod one, it'll take you to the Legends Pinball Modding Series Season 1. This new guide will step you through all aspects of modding the Legends Pinball and is organized in individual chapters to help make the process intuitive and easy to follow. Links and information referenced in each chapter will open a new tab so you won't lose your place while reading the guide. This guide makes use of existing content to avoid duplication, but expands with more background information based on feedback that I've received. If you're primarily wanting to add the arcade control panel and set up CoinOps X to play those arcade games, you'll find Chapter 3 to be of interest to you. P-Dubs and I partnered to bring a detailed guide on setting up CoinOps X to help you enjoy arcade gaming on your machine. Or perhaps you're considering adding a PC to your ALP to play hundreds or even thousands of community-developed pinball tables. Well, Chapter 5 will help you determine if the PC you're considering will be able to play those tables smoothly by entering the specs for the CPU, the graphics, and other options, and see what kind of performance you can expect from your choices. If you're not sure what the Vibs board does, or how to install it, or have other questions, then Chapter 6 will delve a little bit more into the detailed information on some of these questions, including providing additional options on how or where to mount the VIB switch button. Chapter 7 will guide you through the connection between the PC and the pinball machine, while Chapter 8 will cover the control mapping and how to remote connect to the ALP for a more pleasant setup experience. The real fun begins in Chapter 9 when we set up Pinball FX3. And in Chapter 10, we utilize Pinup Popper Baller Installer to add VPX and future pinball tables to the machine. We'll step through the configuration of the main play field, backlash, and media elements to provide a great table navigation experience. I hope you found this introductory video helpful. Please comment below and let me know what you'd like or what should be improved. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to talking to you again very soon.